how do you help creators with their audience knowledge, but also recognizing that in order for them to make a good living, they do have to ask their audience for things. Really good creators have incredibly messy DMs and inboxes. One of the best signs of an engaged audience is literal human to human relationships and connections and replying to them. If you have that feedback loop with an audience, it becomes really obvious what people like and what they're interested in. From a creation perspective and coming up with your next story or your next video, or your next podcast, really good creators have a really good sense of balancing their vision and looking out into the world and looking within and saying like, all right, this is what I I think would be really compelling. And then going into the DMs and saying, all right, let me start looking for insights. Let me start listening and scratching at things and replying and fishing for an answer. Because I want to know, do people know this term or is that too jargony? Do people know about this storyline? Do they care about it? Why would they care about it? It's that art and science thing that I don't really know how to balance, but you know that it's a two-way street. And that's the best part about a lot of these mediums is that it's not like linear television. It's not like the movie theater. You don't have to wait for Nielsen reports for any of it. You can put up an Instagram story or a YouTube poll question and something in your newsletter and ask for long form responses and just get incredible depth. The curse is that you can end up spending a lot of time doing that. It's like a time equation for these creators. How much time are you engaging? How much time are you creating? And, and to get lost in it is very, very easy. But if there's something to get lost, in. And this is probably one of the better things because you're forming those real relationships that will get people to come back to you.